What's up guys, it is Brayden TCT and welcome back to another Rise of Civilizations video. And in today's video we are going to be talking about the main attackers for command for attacking and support. So first let's just go to our commanders. Okay, that's not good. I'm probably gonna need charge after this video. But um so you have your main attackers. So the main attacker for my for me that I use, I use Scipio because he's just a a really good, um, just, he's just a good leader and good for n multiple units. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you skill tree. Uh, I keep clicking ta skills instead of talents. I meant to choose talents. So, his talents, I built him as leadership because he's good with leading big armies. So that's how I'm building him right now. And he's pretty much like a temporary version of Julius Caesar before you get Julius Caesar a high level. So, like I mean, Julius Caesar, he is down here. Um, he's the best command, he's the best attacker in the game in my opinion because he's just good against, he's just basically an improved Scipio because obviously, because he's a legendary variant. So he's, um, he just has better skills and pretty much almost everything that Scipio has except um yeah just a few different um skills but they're just pretty much the same so I also I'm also building him as a leadership so now the next one we're going to be talking about is the secondary class. Now just because it says support doesn't mean that it's always secondary. Support can also mean like it can mean like you can just send an army out and then back up your commanders. Now the two best in my opinion support commanders are Tomoe and Joan of Arc. Now Joan of Arc she's a good support instead of gathering I'm pretty sure it'll be yesterday's video where I talked about how Joan of Arc is better, but um, she's good for support. So, um, uh, yes, because her skill right here says um, gives nearby forces a buff and infant and then health bonus and defense bonus and 40 rage per second. Now that's a huge bonus to have. That's why it's good to have her as a support. And then Tomoe, she heals your troops. And she's also an archer. She leads archers. Now, archers aren't very good because, I mean, they're faster than regular troops, but they're just, but just cavalry's faster than archers. So I wouldn't suggest building anybody as archers. Now, I don't know about these other ones that I haven't unlocked yet, but all the ones that I do have, I know that none of them should be built for archers. Now, the next one, we're going to be talking about our other ones were, oh yeah, Tomoe, I forgot, um, her skill tree. Uh, build her as a versatility, so then she can do multiple things while backing up CPO. And with, I, you should build her like this, I mean, I mentioned this for the third time that Echo did a video with Miracle Max on her support class. Now this I mentioned this so many times, but yeah, so those are their skill trees. Now we have Lancelot and Dragon Lancer. Those are our two good cavalry leaders because they have skills that are good for leading cavalry and they just cavalry goes fast so you can get across the map faster so it's a really good thing to have good cavalry leaders so usually you'd have Lancelot and then backing up Lancelot would be Dragon Lancer so and then you also have your junglers I'm gonna do a whole video on junglers I think it's gonna be tomorrow I mean I haven't recorded it yet but I'm gonna do a a junglers video and where I'm gonna be talking about Lohar and everything. Now, um, I think that's it for the video everybody. This video is a little bit, no it wasn't short, it was normal. It was normal, but um, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to l share this video with somebody who might need to know this information about Rise of Civilizations and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.